Speaking of stalkers... Oh boy. You and your six-pack abs are too late for me, yeah sure. I have my very own Terry Crews that is in my room, locked up, because he wanted to be taken hostage. He'll watch his own video as soon as he gets out of slow motion. Well, thank God you turned off the TV, because I was honestly running out of jokes about you being in the club. I was worried I'd have to Kevin Federline you. Oh, why don't you just call your friend and forcefully tell them what you're promoting? Or why don't you just call R. Kelly and reminisce about you both thinking you were with the same girl? Or he's probably busy with some 100 thing episode important of the show. Always that one person that will always... No, you don't get to be sensitive when five seconds ago you said the line, pimping ain't easy. That's like burning down an orphanage and then telling your spouse that you want children. And then you kill your spouse. You never see... Welcome back to the show, Alicia Keys. You taken your crazy pills yet? I'm guessing not because you're wearing something sexy that no one's gonna see and you know it. No woman walks around the house wearing that. No woman wears that in bed like that. That she's insane. It's clear to everyone she's crazy. Remember, girl, I was the one. That's a very nice picture of the both of you together. How about next time you get a picture that doesn't look so photoshopped? If that picture is real, then this bastard of a murderer is a human being. The greatest trick that Usher has ever pulled was convincing people who really like the song to buy the Diary of Alicia Keys, even though that song isn't on that album. Huh, so affectionate couples always had stupid names for each other, even back then. Well, it could have been worse. This song could have been released today and would have been called My Bay. Well, it looks like years of working as a waitress and stalking people have finally paid off. The only problem with staying here is that occasionally a crappy Canadian pop-punk band will burst through security. Driver's just ignoring the fact that Alicia Keys is singing when there's no music in real time. No, no, honey, that's not moist lead singer David Usher, that's just R&B singer Usher. I know, I know, I'm disappointed too. Alright, I have to call you back. A man almost got hit by my cab and I have to take care of it. Alrighty, I love you too, sugar. Now, here's the most unbelievable part of the video. They find each other in Times Square. Oh, yeah, right. Do you know how much planning it takes to meet somewhere in New York City? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that this whole meetup seems a bit lacking in something. Alright New Yorkers, two people who haven't seen each other in years are going to meet up in this spot at Times Square. Now no one even think about walking in the background of this special moment. I'm looking at you two cars. I understand that you don't want this shot to be overcrowded with people or anything, but this is Times Square at night. Yeah, right, no one is around this area at this time. If there were two people not ever gonna get together, ever. He's gonna pimp her out like he did with the ladies at the beginning of this video, and she's a stalker. Nuff said. Add on to the fact that you guys are talking intimately with each other, and touching each other, and holding each other, but you're not kissing each other, and you know what happens when two people who love each other never kiss. And don't get me started on the child abuse jokes I'll have in my hand. Well, the back of my hand, because I'll keep hitting the child and the blood will go on my hand. And then after this video, Alicia Keys knocked out Usher, dragged him back to her place, and chained him up in her basement next to most them. So this video was... something. I mean, it was a... video. What do I say about a video that's about two lovers who like each other, and find each other several years later? Nothing. Damn it. Yeah, I need a break.